Hello city builders and welcome to Cliff Rose Canyon. This is a little plant nursery I built in a community recycling center. I used the tiles in the recycling bins to uh, shrink that yellow from the billboard. Makes it look a lot cleaner. So that was just a simple build I did while I was waiting for some buildings to level up. Just wanted to show it off a little bit. Over here is the area from the last video. Finalized it with a bunch of trees. Added a few more paths in there. Probably not 100% done, but it's mostly done. Another area that we covered in a previous video, leading into a brand new area, starting here at the uh, High Capacity High School. I spent about 12 years in game working on this area. There's still two buildings that I'm trying to get to the right level, but overall this is a pretty cool build. I really like the way the modern city center and water wall offices look together. If you have them, DLCs, you should try that out. It looks really good. I added a furniture factory to my other industries to keep up with the population growth. We've added about 5,000 people with these new neighborhoods. Had this shot in a few other videos, but this time we're going to be leading into a brand new vanilla high density residential area. Really happy with the way this came out. It's colorful, it looks old, which is fitting for an older section of town. I think most of the buildings blend together pretty well. That tall one on the left is one that I forgot to historically mark, but all the other buildings are locked in. These here in the front are level five and that one on the end is the Heart of Korea plastic surgery building. It counts as a hospital, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them in because they are the tallest buildings currently in the uh, entire city. And you can see the old light residential area bleeding into the brand new high residential area. Like I said, I like all the colors over here. It kind of looks like it was, you know, built in the 70s or 80s, maybe. Here's the new intersection slash interchange to deal with the new traffic. And it's, you know, handling the traffic about as good as you can want from a vanilla build. These asymmetrical roads look really cool like that. Uh, plus it's functional, you know, the one way in and two ways out, you know, and you have two options to turn. This area is brand new. Well, it's not brand new, but there's a brand new feature over here. It's my first trade school. Ta-da! It's my first university build of any kind, and it's only level one. I only have a few of the buildings unlocked. But uh, it looks great next to the disaster response unit, which was only supposed to be a temporary build or replacement. But I think with how good it looks next to the trade school, I think it's gonna be staying in there. You got the mall to the very right or the shopping center. And uh, overlook of the entire town. This is the first city I built, barely using any six lane roads. I think maybe three in total, four at most. But everything else is uh, the small road, four lane, and uh, four lane with a medium. So instead of trying to show the lines on the map for the bus, I figured we could just take the route. This is how I connected the new area with the existing city. 